Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math with Kino. First of all, I'd like to wish you a happy holiday. I uh, hope you had a great Christmas, and I wish you have a, ho uh, a happy and prosperous New Year. Today, we are going to talk about some word problems. The word problem uh, should have already been posted, and uh, basically we're just going to go right in. Just to go over it verbally, in a child's piggy bank there are 11 coins. So we're in the piggy bank. And there's 11 coins in this piggy bank. The total value of the coins is $1.85 or 185 cents. the coins of quarters and dimes and how many coins does the child have of each coin alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up what I call a system of equation if you are not familiar with the system of equation I recommend that you check my video out on systems of equations and how to solve them but uh, basically what we, we do is we break down our quarters and dimes is one aspect we have to look at. So quarters plus dimes, we have 11 coins in that situation. And then we're going to assign a value. So 0.25Q plus 0.10D. All right. And I'm sorry, we're solving in just plain old sentence. So we'll, we'll leave the decimal out of there and we'll just say 185 cents. So 25 cents is assigned to the quarters, 10 cents is assigned to the dime. Now when we solve a system of equation basically what we're doing is we're trying to find out a solution for two equations. This is one equation, a variable plus another variable equals 11 and another setup or equation, linear equation, equals 185. So we're going to solve for Q and D, which are two different variables, and we can do that. The cool thing I like is the way you can manipulate the systems of equations. Now, what I want to do is a process called adding down. So we're going to find out what this plus this is and what this plus this is but what we're going to do is we're going to isolate one of the variables because Q and D are the variables so I'm going to isolate one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply and I'll call this E1 for equation 1 and E2 alright so equation 1 is going to be multiplied by negative 10 and why are we doing that, Kino? Well, the reason why I'm doing that because we're going to wind up adding down in this situation. So what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate equation one by adding. So what's going this is going to turn into is negative 10q minus 10d equals negative 110. All right, now. This is going to really say the same, but we're manipulating, manipulating this so we can work with this because we're going to wind up adding down. So what happens in this situation, 10D plus 10Q, they actually cancel each other out. All right. So then we have negative 10Q and plus 25Q when we're adding down. And we actually will have 15Q is equal to... We have 110, uh, negative 110, plus 185. All right, so I would just put this here and come up with 5. 75 is our answer. So uh, let's just put our 185 back because we're going to need that later. So 1, I'm sorry, 75 was our answer. All right, so what we need to do is we need to divide both sides by 15. And just right in my head, I'm doing it, dividing by 15, 
one, two, three, four, five is our answer. Q is equal to five. So we have five quarters in this piggy bank. All right. So we have found out we have five quarters in this piggy bank. Now, if there's 11 coins, we have five quarters. We can just go ahead and use our reasoning and we know that there's six dimes. All right. Because if there's 11 coins total, we found out that there was five quarters. You know, we know that that's 60 cents plus 125. So 60 cents plus a dollar and 25 cents is equal to 185. Or what we could do is we could take Q and plug it into equation one, which is five plus D equals 11. Subtract five from both sides, and D, the number of dimes, would equal six. So, there's two ways we could have manipulated that. Well, we still come to understanding that we have five quarters, which equal dollar twenty-five, and six dimes, which equals sixty cents. One twenty-five plus sixty cents equals one hundred and eighty-five cents, if you would. So. That is the answer to the question. Thanks for watching.